Hi, I'm Sylvia Spiva, Cisco Developer Community Manager. It's a celebration in the DevNet Zone and we're celebrating with one of our favorite people, Adam Radford. Well, it's been a journey, right? I remember five years ago when I first uh, got the call from Susie, would I be willing to help out? I thought, yeah, for sure. It's, I didn't know what it was going to be like and I can't imagine or couldn't have imagined back then that it would end up like this. Five years of DevNet Zones, what does that mean for the people who have been in the DevNet Zone, the people who have attended the trainings, and what have you seen? Yeah, so it's interesting, you know, this whole programmability thing from a network engineer perspective was a little bit confronting at the time. And I almost think about it as being like the, the five phases of grieving. If you've had some change forced on you, there's this natural reaction that you go through where, you know, the first phase is denial. And, and probably year one of the DevNet zone was a little bit of denial. It's like, we see this thing, but you know, it's probably not real, but we're kind of interested. But there was this you know, thing that was just a phase and a fad that we were going through. You know, the next phase um, was the, the phase around anger. There was a little bit of anger around people losing their jobs, around programmability, meaning that network engineering skills were no longer important. So you know, year two and phase two was probably around anger. And then, obviously, we then um, reached the, the next phase, which was the bargaining phase, where people were kind of trying to think about a little bit of, of programmability might be okay, but I'm not really sure, so maybe if I just do a little bit, it'll be okay. And then year four was the, uh, the depression phase, where you know, people thought, well, this network engineering thing is, is no longer for me, it's all about programmability, I, I'm going to be a hairdresser because that's the thing that I really wanted to do with my life. But I think year five, um, what we've seen is, is an acceptance and a broad acceptance of, of programmability skills and the importance in terms of combining the skills that people have with a new set of skills that is on the horizon. And today, of course, we announced DevNet certifications. Yes. Did you know this ahead of time and what do you want to share with the community? So I, I was privileged enough to find out a little bit in advance. And I think this is a, an awesome validation of the, the work that has gone on in the, the DevNet zone over the last five years. It's great to see that uh, we've finally reached the point of industry acceptance as well as community acceptance of the fact that programmability and programmability skills can be merged with network engineering skills. So, the question this week is, developer or engineer? DevEng. DevEng? The combination of the two, merging the two together. Well, we're in the right place for that. And thank you so much for being with us every single year. Pleasure. Thanks very much.